There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. If you don't mind, I'd like to read this alone. Of course. Palmer mentioned you as well, Scott. Two Chandlers named in my will. Who would have predicted that? Scott Chandler, you should never hold on to what doesn't belong to you. I did it too many times in my life, and it always led to trouble, even ruin. I've also learned it's never too late to return what's been taken. I'd like to say something. Oh, I... let, let Jack finish. I bought a picture your father painted of a creek in Pigeon Hollow. I look at it every day and be reminded of home, where I came from. It's yours now, Scott. Maybe you've never been to Pigeon Hollow, but as Stuart's son, the best of Pigeon Hollow is in you. I never had much use for Chandler's, but Stuart was a man of integrity and heart. He took you in as a child and raised you to be a man as good and kind and noble as he was. you will rely on your heart as well as your head to use your Chandler shares wisely to be a far better man than your father. You're at a crossroads, JR. Choose your next steps wisely. These keys belong to a beach cottage your mother loved. I hope you'll use this cottage as she did to get away when you feel like you're losing touch of what really matters. Portland. Is that gum? Yeah. Pardon me. This wouldn't have anything to do with you and Marissa uh, and... Um, I... I don't want to know, do I? I have to use the ladies' room. Excuse me. was such a powerful man. Yep. I mean, anyone who got in his way led. But the truth is, nothing meant more to Palmer than family. That's something we very, very much had in common. And now that I'm a free woman, there is nothing I would love more than to look forward to my new life. Mm, you're talking about the one where we're married. Oh, Jack. <laughs> I just, I can't wait. Let's just get married, just as soon as we possibly can, okay? Onyx and all its subsidiaries is still a force. I may be gone, but it's my hope that Cortland Electronics continues to make its mark on the world. That's why I'm entrusting Cortland Electronics to the two people who most embody the spirit that breathed life into my dreams and my company. The first is a woman who grew up in Pine Valley and made herself a household name around the world, Erica Kane. The woman is my kindred spirit in so many ways. There's no one I'd rather have at the helm. But since she has many other business interests and won't be able to devote herself completely to the company, I leave full ownership of Cortland Electronics to the one remaining member of my family whom I trust completely. My nephew, Caleb Cooney. Get out of my way, fishhead. I told you, I've got an invitation to this thing. You touch me again, you're gonna lose your hand. <laughs> <laughs> 